Hey everyone, this is Kristen from My Cathedral Garden and today I have a helper with me. What's your name? Owen. This is Owen. He is my second grader this year and we thought we would do a little video on how we taught him the concept of borrowing with subtraction. So that is what we're going to do today. He of course has already learned this but he agreed to be my student and let me teach him a lesson. So maybe if you are going into this wondering how you're going to teach it to your kid this could give you a little bit of help so you ready to get started mm -hmm. high five let's do it okay so borrowing and subtraction or carrying in addition um that is what we're going to work with today i have taught another kiddo i have a fourth grader that's older than this guy right here and um that was not as easy of a concept for him to get, but it's not because he didn't understand math the same way. He's actually very good at math, but the biggest difference I saw between these two is that with this guy, I made sure that we did calendar on a more regular basis and I introduced our place value um, part of our calendar there. And we've been doing it since the beginning, beginning of school. And that singular thing really helped him understand in his mind the concept and what was happening when you were breaking up a 10 or when you were creating a group of 10. So I'm going to show you what we did and see if it helps you. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, Owen, we're ready to try our problem. Will you close that door? Watch the pointers. Okay, we're ready to do our problem. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the problem that we have for Owen to solve and how we use our straws to demonstrate the concept. Okay, so this one we have 15 minus seven. seven. Okay, Owen, can you please grab, I'm gonna hand you 15 straws. Here's a group of 10. Then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, how many straws do we have all together? 15. Okay, I would like you to put them on the white mat, put the fives on the right side, and the group of 10. So look, Owen, I wanna show you something. This is right here. How many groups of 10 is that? It is one. One, right on one, right above it. Okay, look over here. How many straws, how many individual straws? Five. Just one straws, you have five. What is that number that you just wrote? Five. I know, all together. Fifteen. Fifth, so Owen, down here we have one group of ten and five ones. Same thing is up here. This is our tens place. This is our ones place. Now, it says to take away seven. Am I taking away seven from my tens place right now? No. What's my seven underneath? The five. The, which is underneath the? Ones. The ones place, right. So look here, I need you to look at your five, the ones place on yours. Take away seven straws, please. I can't. What? I can't. You can't take away seven straws from five straws? You can't do that. So what do we have to do? You have to add. We have to. Add ten. We have to borrow. So we have to. Mm, borrow. We can't just add the tens group. We have to break it apart, don't we? Apart. Yeah, let's break it apart. Break apart that tens group. Now we have. They're now they're all a bunch of ones, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So now. Can you take away seven straws from all of those? Yeah. Go ahead and take away seven straws. One. Okay. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Awesome. So you took away seven straws from 15 straws. Very good. How many straws do you have left? Eight straws. All right. Is 15 minus seven, eight? Sure is. Great job. 
Okay, now that you've done it correctly here and you understand the concept with our straws, I'm gonna show you how we solve it on the board when we don't have straws, okay? Sound good? Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, come back here. So, we've worked the problem out on the floor with some straws, but we're not always gonna have straws with this. So we need to learn how to work it out here. So we understand that this is not, this one right here does not mean one straw. Yeah. What does it mean? It means Come stand right one here. group of 10. It means one group of 10 straws, correct? And we have done that from day one. So we have moved 10s and ones and grouped them together and all that stuff. So this is pretty easy. Right? So this is not just one straw. This is one group of ten. 10 straws. And this is five straws. It's not five groups of 10, is it? Because it's in our ones column, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you do math, Owen, do you, where do you always, always, always start? In the ones. In the ones. Mm -hmm. You start on the right hand side in the ones. You're correct. So, can you, let's look at our ones first. Here's our number five, and they want you to take seven straws, we'll say that they're straws, away from five straws. Well, you only had five to begin with, right? Down there, you only had five of the 15. So you had to what? Break apart, what? Uh, the tens. Break apart the tens group. So let's do that, we broke it apart. That's how we're gonna say that we broke it apart. Please don't. We're gonna mark through it, okay? We broke it up. Now, when we broke it up, were there any groups of 10 left at all? No, there were no more groups. They were all now individual straws, correct? They were all ones. They, were, they became all ones. So I'm gonna write a zero up here, maybe. Let me get a different pen. How are you so, I know. Using That's okay. All right. So I broke it up, you broke it up, I mean. And there were zero groups, right? And so, we broke it up, broke up that, that group of 10, didn't we? And we moved all 10 straws, right, mm -hmm. over here. And so now, we move that one group of 10 right here. What number did I just make? Um, 15. So Six. that's how I'm showing you that there's 15 straws. There were 15 straws in the one section, correct? Right? And then we do 15, can you take away seven from 15 straws? Yes. Yes, and how many did that leave us with? Um, that left us with... 15 minus seven. Eight. All right. Is that how many straws you had at the end? Very good. All right, way to go, bud. Thank you for helping me today. You did great. So, so we did this over and over and over again. I did about four or five problems where I would write them on the board and we would work it out with straws. Then I'd do a different problem. Write it on the board, work it out with straws. All using just one group of 10, okay? So 12 minus eight. And the bottom number just had to be more than the top number's one. Does that make sense? So if you did 12, you need, you couldn't do minus one because one is underneath two. Um, so we did that over and over and over again. And by the fourth or fifth time, I made sure he could do it on his own before I moved on to showing him how to do it on the board. So I, to make sure he could do it on his own, I would wrote, I wrote one that we hadn't done yet. I may have written like 16 minus eight. And I said, okay, you solve it. You show me what to do. And once he could do that without prompting from me or with um, like completely on his own, that's when I said, good job, you did it. Now, you're not always gonna have straws. Let me show you how to work it out on paper, what it looks like. And we did. So that was helpful. I gave him the steps. I said, here are the steps. You have to do them in order. And we worked on it there. You can break that up into two lessons. We did it all in the same lesson because we were on a roll. But if your kid doesn't get it, that's okay. Keep working at it. But I know that having the straws and him going, oh, I have to break apart a tens group and I moved that whole group over to my ones and make that clicked in his little head. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now he has it. He can do it all day long, can't you? 
And I told him, once you learn how to do it with two digit number, two digit numbers, you can learn how to do it with like 10 digit numbers. Yeah, you could learn how to do it with a bunch of numbers. Cause it's always the same steps. Pretty cool. All right, thanks buddy. Bye guys.